Now we do have Kirsten Davis with the city of Spokane this morning on the phone to talk to us more about road conditions. Good morning, Kirsten. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. Good. So can you talk to us a little bit about the city's plan to kind of clear out some of the snow and which areas can we look at first for those plows to start hitting? Sure, absolutely. So we did uh, have our uh, crews last night stay late and then had our uh, morning crews come in early at 4 a.m. to um, you know, get the snow as it was coming down, and we have more crews coming in now as well. Um, so as always, we um, we try to clear the or we work on the arterials first as the first priority, um, and the hills, and then we work into the school routes and hospital routes. So it always helps a little bit if people can, uh, you know, if they have the option to delay or travel at a different time to uh, work in the morning uh, with school delays that helps a little bit just because it keeps more cars off of the arterials and our crews can clear quicker and and with less um, obstacles. <laughs> Absolutely and now Kirsten I know uh, Spokane Public Schools announced they are working on a two-hour delay this morning. Of course you just mentioned how that helps your crews. Do you expect by the time that school actually starts this morning that things will be a little bit more clear for drivers? Yeah, absolutely. So our, our crews will be out all day, um, you know, working uh, working the arterials and then the secondary and then get into uh, residential. Um, I don't know when that will happen. It just depends on when that snow stops falling because we will always go back to the to the arterials to keep clearing them um, to keep them clear as the snow falls. Absolutely. And of course, we've been taking a look at traffic cameras all morning long as well. Are there any particular areas that drivers should be aware of this morning to really steer clear of? Well, those those areas um, in a lot of the South Hill and some north side, you know, we live in a bowl. So anytime we got to go uphill, it always is challenging with when we get weather like this. So know what your other routes are that maybe are they might take a little longer, but maybe they aren't such an incline. Um, and just drive for conditions and plan ahead. All right, thank you so much for that. I'm sure all of our viewers, especially those who are trying to get out this morning, really appreciate your help and your tips. Absolutely. Have a great day. You too.